In April 1941, in the midst of World War II, the Axis forces made their entry into Greece through strategic points at Salonika and Xanthi. It was the German invasion of Greece, also known as the Battle of Greece, or Operation Marita. As the Axis forces advanced, smoke billowed ominously in the valley, a telltale sign of the escalating conflict. German artillery units unleashed devastating firepower. The once serene valley now echoed with the sounds of war. German soldiers found shelter in foxholes, precisely planning their next moves amidst the turmoil of battle. Above, Luftwaffe Stuka planes dominated the skies, their menacing presence heralding imminent danger from above. We witnessed the relentless onslaught of a Stuka dive bombing raid as bombs rain down and unleash devastation upon the land below. Destruction is everywhere, and the many bomb craters change the landscape drastically. On the streets of Salonika, German tanks rumbled ominously, drawing the attention of curious civilians and receiving salutes from German officers. Let's fast forward to 1944, the year British forces carried out an airborne invasion of Greece. We see British forces preparing for a critical operation in Greece. At a British airfield, C-47 transport planes and gliders were loaded with heavy equipment poised for a daring mission. In this scene, the Waco CG-4A glider, constructed of fabric-covered wood and metal, is extensively inspected before the cargo is loaded. Loading was accomplished using a nose that hinged upward. These strong men lift the nose, after which the, as it appears, Willie's MB Jeep can be loaded. One final push and the job is done. The nose is carefully closed again. The glider was then towed by a transport plane to the runway or designated takeoff area. The transport plane would typically use a tow rope attached to the glider's nose or a tow bar to pull the glider into position for takeoff. Troops who were to board the glider checked their parachutes to make sure they were properly packed and in good condition. Parachutes were essential for the safety of the troops in case they needed to bail out of the glider during flight. With preparations complete, the paratroops boarded the waiting transport planes. Each soldier knew the risks involved, but remained steadfast in their commitment to the mission. Ready for takeoff. Engines roared to life as the gliders and planes taxi one after the other to the start of the runway. Finally, after hours of anxious waiting, the units are ready to begin the mission. The planes took off, towing gliders behind them. It must have been a spectacular and at the same time dramatic sight to see all these planes and gliders taking off one after the other facing their uncertain future. The sky became a canvas of determination and courage as they soared towards their destination. Land in sight, the time to jump is approaching. Over Greece, the paratroops leaped from the planes and the gliders were landing. Their descent was a testament to bravery. Meanwhile, vital supplies were dropped from the air, ensuring support for the troops on the ground. A machine gun was swiftly assembled, ready to defend against enemy forces. Engineers diligently searched for German mines. Moments of humanity emerged as Greek peasants and guerrillas connected with the British troops. Bonds were formed, transcending language and culture in the fight against a common enemy. The troops were preparing to move further into Greece and face the enemy.